Moving on now, a German Economic and Development Agency, GIZ, has identified and assessed uh, 480,000 micro, small and medium enterprises, MSMEs, across five Nigerian states and the Federal Capital Territory. The goal is to provide targeted interventions in key areas that will enhance the business operations of these MSMEs. Akinopo Omoari, the head of the agency's component for business environment reform, investment and infrastructure, discussed these efforts to improve MSME operations in Nigeria. He spoke at a stakeholders forum on industrial cluster development in Abeokutagon State. Now, the forum focused on towards building sustainable infrastructure, fostering green industries and responsible production in Nigeria. Government, of course, will have a reason to, for implementing one policy or the other. But at the end of the day, you must also compare that and just oppose with how does this affect our ability to create jobs in this economy. But this economy needs jobs. We are turning people out from university, from polytechnic, from college of education, from everywhere on daily basis. We are turning people out. So where are they going to? If you don't address that, we have an economy that is not productive. At the moment, we are still in, uh, uh, import dependent. How do we move from being import dependent to be export dependent? We're able to even produce what we need in the country, and then we're going to look at how do we export. So we need to see how this economy is more productive and how this economy gives opportunity for the individuals, for private sector, to be able to create something out of nothing. And it's then that we'll be able to really sustain this economy and grow to where we want to grow it to. Omaro stated that GIZ is also looking at how to create jobs by the MSMEs in the identified clusters. On his part, Yogun State Commissioner, Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment, who was represented by Kayode Akintomide, said the government has put several programs and initiatives in place aimed at industrializing the state and to promote investment. And basically, what are we trying to do? We are looking at, you know, four critical areas and of course the bigger one is to be able to address infrastructure in these clusters, infrastructure challenges and also service challenges but also to look at the green areas, how do we integrate the green elements into these clusters. But beyond that as well, we are looking at you know issues around business and environment and investment. We are looking at issues around uh, entrepreneurship uh, uh, support. We are also looking at issues around access to new markets and issues around access to finance. And the bigger one, like I said, is the infrastructural issues that we are looking to be able to uh, address um, in these clusters. Uh, currently, the state government is working uh, on a $2 billion uh, funding scheme for our MSMEs, uh, one billion from it is meant to be on grant, while one billion uh, is meant to be for loans at very, very low uh, interest rates. All this the state government is doing. Again, the state government has the land um, acquisition uh, scheme for small businesses that is coming up at uh, the Jebu uh, The government is doing all within its powers to make sure that uh, this uh, is uh, uh, started as soon as possible. By the grace of God, we should have the grand breaking ceremony soonest. All these are part of the initiatives of government that is not a, a, a people who fail to realize that uh, they have such opportunities at their doorstep. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.